Hi, my name is Sopnil Kirtak and today we are going to see about Big Mad Sales Prediction. In this we are going to see about how to import the dataset as well as the program code. So first of all, we will import our dataset. While importing our dataset, we have to go to import dataset option. Then from that we have to click on from text base. Then we, uh, as my dataset is in new volume location, I am going there and uh, I have kept its name as dataset R. The da as I click on it, there will be an option called import. I have to import on it. As it opens, uh, this uh, is a big mud, big mud sales prediction uh, data set. Uh, I I have used it from Kaggle. I have referenced referred it from Kaggle. Uh, uh, in this attribute, in this uh, in this uh, data set, there are twelve attributes. So like item identifier, item weight, item fat content, item visibility, item type item mrp outlet identifier outlet establishment here outlet size outlet location type outlet type in this uh, i have to predict item mrp so item mrp is an independent variable and list uh, and rest all are independent variable uh, now we will move to uh, our coding part This is my coding uh, of the big mud sales prediction. Data set uh, data set read is equal to data set is equal to data underscore read set is equal to read dot csv. Uh, it is basically used to read the file or uh, view its location. View data set. It is uh, usually used to keep the data uh, view the data set. Then we will move to the next uh, point. Data set data underscore set uh, data uh, dollar item identifier. Uh, is equal to s dot factor data set dollar item identifier uh, it is uh, basically used to uh, here s factor is used to convert the data set of a variable for example it convert it into number form or uh, integer integer form uh, s dot factor is basically used uh, to convert it uh, in numeric form uh, as well as uh, say in the same way here in the same way we converted of fat content uh, fat content uh, as well as uh, item type as well as uh, location type and uh, outlet type uh, here summary is basically used for uh, summary is basically used for the used to check the any values of the data uh, or a data set string is basically here string is basically used uh, for uh, uh, to, to know the data string is usually used to know the data set use uh, data is equal to uh, data set uh, data underscore set c in bracket uh, double colon item identifier fat content item type outlet location type uh, item weight item visibility outlet type item mrp here uh, it is uh, usually used to here use data is uh, used to substitute the attribute substituting the variables substituting means uh, basically here uh, we have substituted the data uh, the data is uh, means uh, the data is substituted means it is known uh, means it is uh, the data which we wanted which is an important rest all we deleted uh, we remove it uh, substituting means removing unwanted unwanted uh, unwanted attributes first of all uh, and keeping important attributes head use data head head is basically uh, head is basically used to uh, basically used to choose top six values and if you want to choose the last six values then you have used to then you have used to tail means uh, in an attribute in or in a data set head is basically used to select the top six values uh, means uh, in a data set it will uh, if you click head uh, in bracket use data uh, then it will uh, click uh, and then it will uh, give output of six to, uh, top six values then we will move to the next part uh any values any underscore any underscore values is equal to any omit use data uh here uh, any dot omit remove uh, is used to remove any values with row, row. Uh, means uh it omits the any values with row that it uh, we will move to our next part
here as you can see we use uh, any values uh, dot uh, item identifier underscore id is equal to sapply uh, s apply uh, any values item identifier as numeric uh, s apply is uh, basically used to uh, take the list of factor variable means it uh, takes the list of a factor variable in a data set uh, as well as uh, as you can see we uh, took s apply of uh, fat content s apply of uh, item type s apply of outlet location over here then we will move to our next set uh, next uh, uh, step final data set final data set is equal to c bind c bind is nothing but uh, c bind is c bind is nothing but any values there then we viewed our last final data set uh, we moved c bind is nothing but uh, it by uh, it combines the it combines the values or uh, you can say in simple words it joins the columns uh, in a table in a data set um, then uh, we will use a final data set uh, we will final data set string last last final data set is equal to final data set uh, means uh, this is the final data set means uh, final attributes which are uh, in the data set which uh, we uh, need to predict the item mrp so these are the final uh, these are the final uh, attributes uh, for the predicting item mrp view last final data set model data is equal to last final data set here we uh, here we change the uh, model uh, uh, model uh, last final data set to model we moved last final data set to model uh, view model data model is equal to lm uh, item mrp item mrp is a predictable value so it is a dependent variable and the rest all are the independent variable uh, so we wrote it like this model is equal to lm item mrp uh, now you can see the these are the coefficient uh, y is equal to 1 to 5.2397 this values is a intercept and uh, rest all are the coefficients of uh, the vari variables means uh, you can calculate it as uh, by taking the data set for example i will show you for example if you took the value of uh, item outlet uh, Eight point three zero zero. Then it will predict the values of uh, item MRP. As you can see over here, I will show you. As I will show you. As you can see. Uh, one two five point two three nine seven two nine seven is an coefficient variable uh, is an intercept and rest are all the coefficient variable item identifier uh, identifier id is uh, 0 0.02 uh, 084 means uh, if you want to calculate anything this will be the value as it is but uh, here 1407 uh, and this uh, plus 3 uh, into 3 will change uh, uh, from the data set uh, this given data set uh, means so uh, which uh, I think so if you want to calculate item identifier you can choose this uh, you can if you want to calculate fight content then you can three, uh, choose the three uh, to con calculate the data uh, calculate the coefficients uh, thank you now uh, I will show you uh, I will uh, run the code and show you how it works You can view the data set over here. This is uh, the data set of Big Marcel's prediction. Uh, then run. you can see the values. And you can see over here the output.
you can see the fats over here fat content how much fat content is there in the you can see the, uh, the item types in this which are canned foods which are hardings uh, you can see over here you can see the type item type outlet type you can see the summary data set summary the data set of all the things String. as you see i click uh, head then uh, it only showed the top six values oh yeah uh, you can see item mrp the, the all the things uh, all the top six values which are present it showed that only as you can see they uh, they uh, as i click on any omit it only kept uh, only the important attributes which i need for item mrp uh, to predict item mrp as you can see as you can see any values convert it into numeric forms all the things this is the final data set as you can see Final values. I will. You, I, I will show you final data set. This is the final data set. as you can see the model data uh, here we can here we uh, removed all the data all the unwanted data and we kept the data which uh, is we, which we wanted for the prediction of uh, item mrp as you can see the coefficient uh, co uh, the 1.125.23 1, 1, 9297 is a intercept value and the rest all are the identifier I, uh, fat content item type id outlet location id item weight uh, values uh, and this is the value which i predicted from it uh, let's we will uh, wait we will check it Thank you.